Let's look at question number four. It says Barrett Industries invests a large sum of money in R&D. As a result, it retains and reinvests all of its earnings. In other words, Barrett does not pay any dividends and it has no plan to pay dividends in the near future. A major pension fund is interested in purchasing Barrett's stock. The pension fund manager has estimated Barrett's free cash flows for the next four years as. So here's the important parts coming through. Three million. Mm, okay, let's just try and underline that instead. Three million, six million, ten million, and fifteen million. Right, after the fourth year, the free cash flow is projected to grow at a constant seven percent. So it means that the fourth after the fourth year, which is year five, we're going to have a seven percent increase on fifteen million. Barrett's WAC is twelve percent. Okay, the market value of its debt and preferred stock totals sixty million. Debt and preferred stock total 60 million. It has 10 million shares of common stock outstanding. Okay, what is the present value of the free cash flows projected during the next four years? So when we look at question 4.1, we can clearly see that we're not really going to worry with um, we're really not going to worry with the 10 million shares outstanding or the 60 million preferred stock debt because the question relates to the free cash flows and we need to present value it, right? Now, when we find the present value of something, we call this process discounting. In other words, we are saying in four years' time, you're going to have an inflow of 15 million rand. And the question today that we want to ask is, what is the value of that 15 million rand today? Okay, of course, the 15 million rand today has to be uh, worth, um, sorry, the 15 million rand of the future should be worth less than 15 million rand today. Okay because the buying power of money decreases over time. Okay, so let's look at the future value formula. This is a formula you should be familiar with. Future value is equal to PV, which is the present value multiplied by 1 plus I, which is, or R, to the power of N. Similarly, you can solve this formula by saying that PV, just divide both sides by this factor over here, which gives us the following saying PV is equal to the future value divided by 1 plus i to the power of n. Okay, and that i is going to be the rate or the cost of capital. Okay, so let's do it. Let's write this down. Um, let's say year one, we've got, uh, these are all the future values, right? Uh, so I've got year one, I've got year two, I've got year three, oh, let's just give it some more space, year two, year three, and year four. Okay, so we know that these inflows are going to be 3 million, which is going to be 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, um, 10 million, sorry, 6 million. Okay, uh, 3 million, 6 million, 10 million, and 15 million and those are our future values right what we now need to do is we need to present value each of these in other words we need to say take the future value which is given to you over there and we need to divide it by the factor right and I'm just going to write those factors up over here um, and that has to correspond with where that cash flow is coming in okay so let's just say that's our second step it means take this future value divided by 1 plus i and in this case the i is going to be the weighted average cost of capital which is uh, 0.12 and that's going to be raised to a power of 1 because that's in year 1. This year is an inflow at the end of the second year we're assuming that all of this happens at the end of the year um, and that's going to be 1 plus 0.12 to the power of 2 that's going to be 1 plus 0.12 to the power of 3 and this over here is going to be 1 plus 0.12 to the power of 4. Okay, so let's calculate each of that. Um, I'm going to take out the symbol here for future values because now that whole calculation over there represents a present value and then we're going to say what it's equivalent to, right? Okay, so let's look at the first one the present value of that and I think you should do this with me at this point in time okay the present value of the cash flow 
3 million uh, divided by 1.12 to the power of 1 it's going to be 26 2 million 678,571 okay Okay, I'm going to round it off to the nearest rand, which is 571 over there. This over here, um, or maybe we should round it off. No, let's just, because we're working with millions, just, just leave it as such. Um, the next one is going to be 6 million. Um, divided by 1.12 raised to the power of 2, which gives you 478, uh, sorry, 4,783,163. 4,783,163. The next one is going to be 10 million raised to the power of 3. That's going to be Last one is going to be a 15 million rand inflow. Right, six zeros and raised to the power of four. Okay, that's going to give you nine million five three two seven seven one. Okay, okay, so this year is equivalent. That's the year one. Um, I'm going to call it present value of cash flow. Year 1, that's the present value. Let's just make it PV1. That's going to be PV2. This is present value of the cash flow in year 3. And that's present value of the cash flow in year 4. Okay, so now if you actually wanted to work out uh, what is the net present value of the future cash flows, um, which is not what the question wants. It just says the present value of the free cash flows projected during the next four years. You could work at what's the net present value of the free cash flows. So we can say NPV is equal to the sum of that plus that plus that plus that. So I'm just going to say it's a sum of PVI, where I equals 1 all the way up to 4. Okay, and when you sum each of those up, Let's just say it's 9532771 um, plus 7117802 plus 4783163 plus 2678571. That gives us uh, 24,112,000. Right. 307. Okay, very important to note over here, I didn't round off to the cents, but uh, it would be useful to do so. I rounded off to the nearest rand, um, and this year, of course, is rand value. Okay, so that's question, that's the net present value in rands for year one, year two, year three, and year four. Okay, good luck, that's 4.1. Let's look at 4.2.